All right, so we're going to take a look at some quick cash calculations before we get into the actual cash budget. We're going to look at the total cash receipts from customers, and we're going to be using the sales budget part one of our budgets in order to see what that number would be. All right, so we have the total budgeted sales. We said we're just pulling these numbers over was uh, the 494-400 for July, was the 470-400 for August, and it was the 482-400 for September. And then what we need to do is figure out how much of those sales are on account, how much of it was for cash versus the sales that we're going to receive AR for. In a book problem, they would have to tell you in some way, and this way we're going to give some kind of percentage to have the cash sales portion. In real life, we would, of course, have to make some kind of estimate how much of the sales will be in cash, how much will be on account. It will vary greatly depending on the type of industry and company that we are in. So, But the key here is that we'll have a, ta a timing difference, of course, and we need to figure out when the cash is being received, and that's what we are doing here. So we're going to say that the cash sales are, are 148.320, which is, of course, the 494.400 times 30%. We have the 141.120 and the 144.720. So these are going to be the cash that's received for the sales made in July. So that's what we have at this point. Sales on credit then would be the 494.400 minus the 148.320 or of course this number times 